are recording. My hair is just a disaster, but we're just gonna go with it. Hopefully, I'm not talking too quietly here. I am testing out an old camera to kind of video vlog with today and it doesn't have a microphone jack so like I can't attach a microphone to it so hopefully the audio doesn't suck too badly. It has been a while since I have filmed a video. I was trying to be more consistent back in the fall and then I got like two videos out and then I kind of fell off for November and then December hit and the holidays were so busy so Anyways, new year, it's a new me. I'm really excited for this year because there's some exciting changes I have coming for the channel, for my photography, for my Instagram, for everything coming for 2023. So I'm really excited about that. Before Victoria wakes up for a nap though, I have to get a couple things done. So later to this morning, we are actually going on our mommy and me walk. So we are part of this like mommy group that goes for walks like every couple times a month. And I really look forward to them. Like I've missed the last couple. So I really look forward to these walks because it gets me out of the house. It gets me meeting other moms and stuff like that. So it's a lot of fun. And one of the moms that I met on the group, I did her first, um, her daughter's first birthday cake smash photos before Christmas. And so I need to print off just a few of the photos. I had bought like a printer at Christmas time, just like a small one more for personal use. But I just wanted to like print off a few of the photos just as like a thank you for letting me do your daughter's cake smash photos. So they turned out really adorable. Let me know down in the comments if cake smashes are popular where you are. Here in Canada, at least, they're pretty popular. I wouldn't say like everyone does, you know, first birthday cake smashes, but I would say like 80% of the people that I know that have kids end up doing like a first birthday cake smash or something like that. It's definitely become more of a thing, I would say, in the last like, I don't know, maybe five years or so like I have young cousins and cake smashes weren't really a thing when they were young but it's definitely a thing now so anyways let me know down in the comments are cake smashes a thing where you live because they're pretty popular over here um so I need to print off the photos that's number one and number two I need to get the diaper bag packed because we've been out a couple times this week and so it's just all disheveled so I need to get the diaper bag repacked and then that way when she wakes up I should hopefully just be able to go all right so the diaper bag is packed I got the photos printed I don't want to show you the photos just because they've got her face on it and she, the mom doesn't really like her daughter's face being shown in the photos. You can see if you follow me over on Instagram, you can see some of the photos that I took. But again, like her face doesn't get shown because she doesn't like her daughter's face being shown on social media, which is totally fine. Um, but I got the photos printed. They're just like little four by six prints. And I bought the printer that I bought at Christmas time to do this with is just like the Canon selfie CP1300 printer. And I do want to do a video on it later on this month because I bought it for personal use. I have so many photos of Victoria. I have so many photos. Like I do a lot of like family photography, self portraits, like baby newborn photos of her. I do a lot of it, but it all lives digitally on my phone. And I like did have an album going on my phone where I put all of her photos for a while, but it's just nice. I'm trying to find it here. Oh yeah, see? I have like, I don't know if it'll focus, but I have like a bunch of her photos that I was taking, but it's just nice if you could print them out and have them physically in your hand. And I'm currently working on like a family photo book yearbook for us um, ever since like from pregnancy to like basically her first year. So I bought this just small printer. It was really affordable just so I can print some of her photos. Anyways, use that to print these photos and everything's I think all set. When she wakes up, I'll just get changed and we should be able to head out the door depending on what time she wakes up. So while I still have a minute because she hasn't woken up yet I just wanted to chat with you about some of the changes coming for 2023 that I'm really excited about so one of the changes which you will obviously be able to tell is I'm changing my name 
So here on the channel, you've known me as, if you're a long time subscriber, if you've been subscribed to this channel, you've known me as a beautifully water. That's just how I have been set for the last few years and when I started this channel it was back when I was living in Fort McMurray and I was kind of starting on this photography journey when I was like working in the field that I had gone for school for so like I have a bachelor's degree in emergency and security management that's what I was doing in Fort McMurray doing and at the time that I was doing it I was also pursuing this photography because I kind of went through this personal crisis and I just wasn't happy in the field anymore and so I just decided to change things up and I needed to call this whole thing something and I chose Beautifully Wonder for a couple reasons one it does link back to my grandfather and he was like an influence in, in all of this and he had died a number of years earlier and then the second reason is just that I was embarrassed you know I didn't want any of my friends or family to know about this channel about my photography about any of it so I kind of hid behind beautifully wander and it worked for a little bit but you know fast forward to now three four years later it's a lot different um, my friends and family all know about my YouTube channel and my photography I don't hide from it as much I'm quite proud of the photos and everything that I'm able to produce I've come a long way and so I just feel like I don't have to hide from it anymore as well the name just doesn't accurately represent what I'm about about as so much anymore just because I am moving in this new direction for 2023 that I'm excited about and so just beautifully wonder just doesn't really fit it anymore so kind of going forward this video that you see right now it'll show up as beautifully wonder but any future videos you'll see from me it's just gonna pop up under my name Robin McLeod McLeod is my married name and I've just decided it's been a long time coming that I wanted to make this change but I kind of wanted to time it for the new year and so yeah moving forward everything's going to be under Robin McLeod my YouTube my Instagram eventually my website which I might take down in the spring and then put back up um, under Robin McLeod but everything's going to just get changed to my name which is really exciting I'm still going to keep the same profile picture though for now because I do find that is handy for people when like a new name pops up I find with a channel or Instagram and you're like I don't remember like following or subscribing to this person but then like the profile picture is the same so it just kind of helps put two and two together so yeah that's gonna be happening real soon I'm excited about that change and then the other change that is gonna be coming is some content changes but I'll have to talk to you more about that later because I think she's about to wake up hey you slept for like 15 minutes that was nice are you ready to start the day yeah next week window yeah okay Let's head out, and we might actually have time to do your solids. Do we have time to do your solids? Maybe. Mommy and me walk. It was such a nice day to go for a walk. It was like zero degrees, sunny out, so it was absolutely perfect. Victoria is currently just trying to get down for a nap right now. She was supposed to nap like an hour ago and I thought she was gonna fall asleep in the vehicle and I was gonna have to drive around for half an hour and then she didn't so her nap is like an hour late so I don't even know how long she's gonna nap for if she's just gonna sleep for like five minutes and then wake up because she's super overtired but We'll see how long she naps for it. My parents are coming over for her next week window. Yeah, I might have to contact Napper, but we'll see. I am now filming on my iPhone. So I mentioned earlier that I was trying out an old camera for like video and vlogging and stuff like that. And this is the one that I was trying to use. It's my Canon M100 that I, this is like the first 
kind of second, I guess, camera that I had picked up when I was learning photography because you can shoot in manual and I had brought this on a trip with me and I wanted something really, really small and so that's why I like decided to bust this guy out but so far, I don't know. I don't know if I'm really liking it because it sucks in low light and the battery dies really quickly. Like, I've had to charge it already twice today so I don't know if I'm loving it which is why I'm kind of thinking I'm in the market for a different camera so I can take video and stuff like that when I'm out and about because it's just it's so difficult I want to take photos and videos more of like our day-to-day -day and all of that kind of stuff but it's just difficult because I don't like using my phone which is a completely other video that I'm gonna do because I have a lot of issues with my phone so I might be in the market for a different camera we'll see and excuse the hair so I don't know if you're a mom out there then I'm sure you're more than aware of what's happening but it's called like the postpartum mom fringe apparently and you can tell someone said that you can tell exactly how old the baby is based off of the mom's postpartum fringe and mine is coming in strong so like I've just got this hair that is like sticking out from the top of my head it happened like I started noticing it like three days ago and yeah it's just it sticks out right at the top of my head it just it's not a good look but it's just, it is what it is so I think she's fallen asleep so hopefully she stays that way for at least half an hour half an hour is like a cat nap it's not really a nice restorative nap for her but it's like at least some sleep so We'll find out. All right, Zoan's up from her nap. She only napped for like half an hour. I think she was overtired by the time she went down, so it's kind of expected that she wouldn't nap for very long. But yeah, she's up from her nap. We're just gonna have our wake window. Grandma and Grandpa are gonna be over soon for a visit, and we have to do our solids. But hey, you're gonna have some lunch, have some corn for lunch. I'll heat up the milk this time. Hey. So, Victoria is down for her nap. Hopefully I'll get half an hour out of her again. An hour would be preferred, but I'll go for half an hour. It's been a bit of a busy day and that we've kind of just been go, go, go since the morning, but a really good day. It's Friday, which means that my husband is home for the weekend. So I always love the weekend for that reason. I think I left off with a bit of the next segment of today's update and that is some content changes so we've covered that I'm going to be changing the name of the channel to my name and kind of going with it is some content changes so for the past seven months I've been doing a lot of like family newborn baby family like self-portrait photography and I absolutely love it like that is the only kind of photography that I have been doing for the past seven months and I've done like more photo sessions in like this past bit than I did in the year prior and I just I absolutely love it I have such a passion for it it just I haven't felt this spark in like a really long time and so with the name change and with this like whole 2023 I've just decided that I want to move kind of in this direction and back in the fall when I was trying to be more consistent I wanted to put out like more of this kind of content and I kind of fell off because I kind of hit this like speed bump or basically the content that I wanted to put out I just didn't really feel like that's the audience the community that I've like so far built on this channel that's not really what they wanted to see from me and so I kind of lost motivation and so I just didn't really feel like I wanted to post because I was at this clash where what I wanted to post isn't what my audience wanted to see and so everything kind of just melded into one and I realized that like in order to kind of build the audience build a community around what I really want my future direction to be I just need to start putting out those kinds of videos and that's just what I'm going to start doing for 2023 so you're still going to see a lot of gear kind of talk videos because I still love using you know my Olympus I still have a variety of lenses I still love camera accessories and all that kind of stuff and I use my E1 Mark II you know all the time um, that is my main camera system but so you're still gonna see all those kinds of videos you know what's in my camera bag but on top of that you're also gonna see a lot more of like family photography newborn baby that kind of lifestyle 
photography content to the channel and you're not really going to see a lot of like landscape nature photography because that's not just what I do. I just don't really do it anymore. You still see some travel photography because I do have one or two really exciting trips planned for this year. We have not kind of traveled to this extent in a couple of years since you know the pandemic so we have one for sure trip planned at the end of this year where we're going somewhere tropical very excited about that and then we have a second trip maybe planned for the spring we'll see how everything kind of shapes up for us so I do have some trips planned this year so travel photography is still of course on the agenda and I still love travel photography but I just don't travel as much as I used to and so you'll still see a bit of that but you're also going to see a lot more like lifestyle family photography newborn baby content on the channel here and less of the landscape and nature stuff so I am really excited about this because I have so many like video ideas that I really want to do. One of them is like breaking down all of my milestone photos and how I do them because I do them every single month with Victoria. So definitely want to get that video out there because there's a lot to it. So anyways, that's just the content change that's kind of coming for 2023 and I'm excited about it. Hopefully some of my current audience is excited and that we can bring in some new community members to the channel that is Just wants to learn more about family photography and all that kind of stuff All right So I don't think I have a lot of memory left on this memory card just because this was a little bit of an impromptu video And that I didn't fully clear the memory card so I won't continue talking but Excited for some of the changes for 2023 so remember watch out for Robin McLeod in the videos because that is going to be the new channel name excited for some new content again hope you're all doing well hope you're all having a great January so far great start to 2023 if you like this video and you want to follow along on this new direction and then give this video a like and subscribe and I'll see you in next week's video